former Navy captain Brent Sadler is with us this morning. Brent served 26 years in the Navy, 18 of those years on submarines. So these, I, I want to talk about the temperature for a second. No one, mm. we all talk about how much oxygen is in there, but the, the temperature at 12,000 feet down is frigid. If they don't have power, they're in trouble. No, absolutely. It will be cold. It will probably be very humid inside that uh, submersible. If, if they've lost power, it will be very, very dark. And they definitely, if, they're, if they are able to maintain their energy levels as low as possible, that will actually slow the oxygen consumption. But that cold temperature is, is not pleasant. And add into it the dark and very eerie quietness that you'll have down at uh, thousands of feet under the water. Uh, uh, we're all praying for them. But the situation at this moment is dark, is it not? No, absolutely. They've, 96 hours is what the submersible is rated for for endurance. That's for uh, habitability inside. Uh, and they're getting, wrapped, they're getting very, very close to that limit. But, of course, if they've got a smart and savvy uh, crew leader on that submersible, they would have put people, start going to sleep as much as they could, uh, reduce their movement and any inner exertion of energy, they might be able to exceed that 96 hours by dozens of hours. But we're not talking about days longer that they could extend it. The, uh, how could they be gotten out? W w does the submersible have to go to the surface? Or is there some way of getting them out of the submersible at 12,000 feet and then bringing them up? Well, I th think based on the design, as far as I can tell of it, uh, it's going to require bringing it to the surface. That's all in likelihood if they actually find it and it's in a situation where they can actually attach a cable like was mentioned er earlier and br bring it to the sur surface. That's probably the most rapid way to do it. Of course, they're down about 13,000 feet or more. It's going to take some time uh, to get that vessel up. It probably took them going 300 feet a minute, about 45 minutes to get to the depth at which the Titanic was at. So it give you some sense of how long it will take once you find it, attach a cable, to get them to the surface. And again, we're getting into the period where hours matter. Indeed, there we are. Captain Brent Sadler, thanks very much for sharing your expertise with us this morning in a very dark situation. Thank you, Captain. Appreciate it.